Electricity!
Kicking. It's good to have you back, Aya. Thanks, Falvagon. Where is Lord Sigmund? That way. I'm the rear guard. I'll see you later. Gotcha.
floor of this castle. Yeah! 
Looking better. Welcome back. And who are these children? Hi there. I'm Rico. This is my sister. I'm Rucha. Nice to meet you. Yeah, they helped us out back in Nolan. I'll ask you about your tales later. I'm more worried about Sigmund up ahead. Yes, we'll go and catch up with him. Eugene, please look after those two little kids for us. That's a good idea. I and Capel. You two should go with Edward. Capel, you stay here! No. He's going with you. I think that Sigmund could use all the help he can get. You two, follow me! Hmm. 
Who made you leader? up with him, so don't fall behind! Treat them!
different about him. A Lien? Why would one be here? Lien? You really don't know anything, do you? <sighs> Every country in this world is ruled by Aristos. Lien's are the Aristos who watch over the kingdom of Burgas. Hey, how should I know? It's not like I have any noble relatives. Well then, I guess you wouldn't know. It has been ages, Lord Sigmund. It is good to see you are safe, Honorable Savio. You know him? His legend travels far and wide under the name Starseer. In Burgas, even a toddler would know this. Starseer? He sees the future. I am Savir. Unbelievable. What's happening? <sighs> uh, Savio? I have seen dreadful things. What? A future that must never be. I shall say nothing further now. A future? Capel, please escort Honorable Savio to Eugene. I don't have anything to light a fire with. You are unable to see in the dark, Capel? Huh? How could I do that? I meant no offense. There are those with lunaglyphs for seeing in the dark. I see you don't rely on lunaglyphs. Is this a way to discipline yourself? Uh, no. It's not anything special like that. Lord Sigmund doesn't use them either. Sigmund too? People like you two intrigue us immensely. Uh. The unblessed. You are aware of this term? Mm. Yes. When a person is born, a rite is performed to bestow a lunaglyph, which contains an otherworldly power. The moon's phase that day determines the power of the glyph. Uh-huh. But those born during the new moon are less fortunate. They are unable to receive a lunaglyph, hence, those without glyphs have been called the unblessed. I wouldn't say they're less fortunate. 
Life without a lunar glyph is unnatural. Savio. Unblessed possess neither the power nor the skill that a lunar glyph contains. Therefore, they are looked down upon with disdain. There is a distinction between you and Lord Sigmund who don't use them and those who simply cannot use them. Perhaps I've said too much. No. even for the mighty Sigmund. After watching that display of power, I understand why the Dread Knight himself chose to fight you. 
Why don't we enjoy some conversation? Don't tell me the Liberator is bashful. Move! Not bad. Ugh! Damn you! Is this the best a Knight of the Order can do? Dreadfully inadequate. If our master were present, he would surely be ashamed. Saranda, lend me your strength! Well, if you insist... Take my power! Now! Edward, Aya. Sir! We'll finish him. Yes! Come on, Capel. Uh, me too? This power! You won't be as powerful as our master, but I've given you enough for now. Hurry! Kill them all before it overtakes you. What did she just do? And then he... What? What is going on here? Sigmund! My lord? I'll liberate this land from the chain. Stand guard. Yes. He's gonna destroy that huge chain all by himself? If we could cut it, we would be helping him. Why not try? We can't. Really? No one can sever chains. Not anyone. Yeah, but Sigmund is cutting it, right? He's doing the impossible. That's why he's a hero. Be gone! Amazing. Lord Sigmund! Oh no! Lord Sigmund! You did well. My lord, you mustn't move! I'll have Eugene here in no time! Don't trouble yourself. I know that this body can't be healed. His body is a wreck. It's from constant fighting. He began this battle alone, so... Eugene even warned him that he could collapse at any moment. But Sigmund kept on insisting on destroying the chains. 
Oh, oh. Capel, I offer you my thanks. But this is a battlefield. You must... Join us! What? He just doesn't know himself well enough yet. I know he can help us. I'm certain of it. That's my decision. You keep quiet. But don't I have a say in this? It's not merely fighting ability. I sense that he possesses a far more wondrous power. What power? How can he possess power if he doesn't even want to wield a sword? Wielding a sword isn't everything. Aya, uh, you're not making any sense. Yeah, yeah. Quiet, you! If he joins us, he won't receive any more special treatment. Yes. What? <sighs> Ow! Thank you, my lord. Congratulations, Capel. Congratulations? We shall return to Burgerstadt, victorious! Um, excuse me, the sword? Use it as you wish. Are you sure? Come on, let's go! Who made you the leader? We return to Burgess.